Hey guys, it's Victor for the Gimme Flick Man JNU series. A British man living in Tokyo was on his way to a meeting at the Hilton Hotel on May 22nd when he just vanished. His name is Garen Dart. He's a 40 year old founder and CEO of an event management firm called Blue Silver. He's married to a woman named Yukako and they said this is very unlike him. He was very sleepy that day. They thought maybe he just fell asleep somewhere. But um, apparently not. They haven't found them. The police, uh, have they, of course, Yukako called the police and they have verified that the police do not have them and he is not in any, any of the hospitals. So if anyone knows him, this is a picture of him. It's not a great picture, but it's all I could find. If anyone knows this man or has seen this man, please, uh, I guess, notify the, the phone number at the bottom here. Or I, don't know, I don't know who you would call him. Mr. He's got a Facebook page, so notify him on the Facebook page. Um, he, they have contacted the embassy and according to the article, the embassy cannot actively search for missing people, but they are in contact with the police. Now, the other reason I'm bringing this up is because years and years ago, I, I remember seeing an article about how apparently 100,000 Japanese uh, disappear every year. And I thought that was, uh, you know, of course, remarkable. I mean, uh, 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 I mean, just an incredible number. But after doing a little research, that is true, but not exactly. So according to the police, 100,000 Japanese disappear every year, but 98% of them are found. But that still me means there's like 1,700 j missing people out there every year. Of course, some of those people disappear because they want to disappear. They just get sick of their families. It's like that Bruce Springsteen song, you know, um, took a wrong turn and just kept uh, going. How's it go? And I never came back. You know, you know that song. I can't remember right now. But anyway, I should look that up. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, so it's not that bad in Japan. But of course, Japan, as safe as it is, uh, this kind of stuff can happen. Uh, the good news is, though, he was texting during, while it was happening. So maybe they can do something with his cell phone. You know, you always see that in the, in the movies. We're going to triangulate his position by bouncing off the towers and stuff. I don't know if that stuff is possible, but there's so many towers in Japan that hopefully that's possible. Of course, I don't know, but if anyone knows anything about this, I'm just getting the word out. So if you know anything, spread the word and let's see if we can find this guy. His name, again, is Garen Dart, and this is his picture. And that's all I got for you to now. Um, check the description for some useful vocabulary regarding missing people, and I will talk to you all very soon. See ya.